If you've reached minute 30 in Vampire Survivors, then you know the Reaper is coming to review. There are record attempts to postpone death as long as possible, and the current record reaching 15 minutes survive with 20 run Reapers coming after him. But our goal today is not to survive, it's to kill. Yes, we want to kill the Reaper. As, as the title kind of spoiled, you know. But why would you want to do that, right? Like, what's the point? Well, I mean, for one, it's, it's just fun. It's supposed to be the end, you can't prevent that, it's the one that always kills you, but now it's your revenge. But probably more exciting, it unlocks a hidden character called Missing No. That's the same name that is also used in Pokemon, you know, it's just a missing number. And as of making this video, the character has fully randomized stats every single time you go to the stat screen, but apparently in the new update this will change and I don't know what they really do with him. So far, the only method to kill the Reaper included file modding, and I'm not a big fan of manipulating game files, you know, if something goes wrong, and especially for record runs, that's not good if you mod your files, so not a big fan of that. So, let's get into it, and by the way, don't expect to succeed right away. This is how long this attempt took, and that this is the last attempt that I did, right? There were many more, so come on, this video deserves a like. Step 0. Do not get the power-ups for increased pickup range, experience bonus and cooldown reduction. Later on, more about that. Step 1. Pick Lurky and get Rune Tracer from the green orb on the table. This is obviously the inlaid library. If you don't get it, just reset. Step 2. Hide top left of the table so that your hand aligns with the clock's bottom part when you face the left side. Bump into the wall, then move slightly down. Else the late game enemies will bump into you and possibly kill you. If you collect experience and level up, just reset again. Enemies experience drops is not guaranteed and sometimes you will level up, other times you won't. Step 3, around the 3 minute mark, look for red experience orb. This orb is gathering all the experience. It should be rather close to you, as the time window once the reaper spawns is really slim. If you don't see it by latest 3.30, just reset. Don't be as stupid as I was and gamble to receive a revive. Step 4. Now it gets exciting. Once you hit the 30 minute mark, rush to the red experience orb. On the way there, you should level up a few times. The top priority is bone, but more to that later. If you can, pick up Laurel, Tiara Megu, Clock Lancet and Empty Tome level 1, but do not go further. These are just the main important ones to keep you alive. Else the focus is on Spinach, Duplicator, Can Labrador, Spellbinder and Brazer, but you can see that on the screen. Now, listen carefully. Do not upgrade the Empty Tome right away. Get the Clock Lancer to level 7, do not max out any other weapon, then get Empty Tome to level 5. This works because of a game quirk, where the game does not apply the Empty Tome cooldown bonus once the weapon is already maxed out. The weapon has to level up for it to apply. Step 5. If you got bone, then just position yourself on the top right of the table. You'll see you're standing right if the bone and the rune tracer bounce in a spot and hit the reaper. The bone is a bit more crazy, but the rune tracer should just bounce left and right and just repeatedly hit the reaper. If you didn't get the bone, then just do what I did. Go to the gap in the wall, push the reaper below the left corner as I did, and then walk into the top left corner. Once there, move just a tap down and stay there. And that's it. Now pray that nothing happens that will get you killed and you will kill the reaper. Unlocking missing no and conquering the game. And there's more. A new update is coming or already out. I made a video about that and if you want to watch that it's on the right side on your screen. And if you know all about that then hey I also do gold record runs. I currently hold the world record with 22.8k gold in a single run. So that might also be exciting and otherwise hey the left video is just YouTube's recommendation that's Better than nothing, I guess. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. And I'm out.